Hey guys, my name is Phil and welcome to this video. Now today we're going to be talking about ultimate add-ons for Elementor and it is a add-on plugin to complement Elementor on your website, which is a page builder. And hopefully if you're watching this video, you already have a good understanding about Elementor, but maybe you're looking just for a little bit something extra. Maybe Elementor or Elementor Pro is lacking a few little widgets and majority of the time ultimate add-ons has actually got it. So I um, started using ultimate add-ons just a few months ago. I was really surprised when I was looking for a few particular things and it was only when I saw a competitor's website that they had it that I decided to you know, pull the trigger and give it a go. And to be honest, I was really impressed with what I saw. These, these widgets that ultimate um, add-ons for Elemental has are really, really cool. So I'm excited to show you those today. Uh, I have a live website created. It's a blank demo website. I've also added ultimate add-ons for Elemental there. Um, so we'll go around and have a little play with it. So it's a, it's gonna be a really exciting thing. There's a, um, a few things I wanna actually mention. If you only have the free version of Elementor and you decide to use ultimate add-ons for Elementor, that should be enough uh, widgets for you to actually create your entire website. I know Pro has a lot of uh, widgets as well, but I've, I think ultimate add-ons for Elementor has probably got enough for you to actually like move forward with. So that's really exciting. You can just stick to your free version of Elementor if you want. Um, and also it's just a it's a really lightweight platform. They've got a white labeling feature inside of there if you decide to, you know, create some clients, some um, accounts, things like that. So that's another thing that you can do with it, which is pretty exciting. But what I'm going to do again, once again, is just go through all of the features and the ones I like the most that actually made me pull the trigger and buying it. So um, all of that's going to be in there. And just a side note, I've created a free SEO course that I want to give all the people that help support my channel. So if you are thinking about getting ultimate add-ons for uh, Elementor. I've left a link in the description and if you decide to purchase through there, I'll happily give you a free SEO course. So keep that in mind when you're going through today's video. So I'm gonna jump behind the screen right now and get into Ultimate Add-ons. Okay guys, here we are at the website of Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. Now just before we get stuck into it, I just wanna go through a few little things. Um, first of all being what's actually on the website and the pricing. So uh, to start with, I'm going to scroll right to the bottom and I'm gonna show you just the the different widgets that are available. Um, I'm also going to show you them live as well. I just wanted to sort of give you a quick rundown of what they are. Um, so basically these are them here. If you're looking for a particular widget, you can just check right here if it's available. And I know they are constantly adding them, so you do get support to updates once they come. Now a few things to think about also is they do give you entire website templates, right? So if I scroll down just a little bit, here's a few examples of the website templates that you can get. And they're not just a one pager as a lot of the um, Elemental Pro templates are, they're entire websites. So I can actually show you what those look like. If I click on starter templates on the website, they have all the different types of websites um, available here. So these are entire sites, not just one page. They've got each of the different pages available as well. Um, so that's really, really good to have as it's going to save you a load of time. Pretty much you just find a good looking template and you install it. All of the pages will be there and it's all ready to go. So very handy to have. Um, apart from that, there are all of these different widgets that are amazing. Um, I'm going to go over my favorite ones, plus I'm just going to show you a few other ones. Um, so I'll just quickly show you them in case I butcher the training. Uh, these ones are really good. These I'll show you my favorite ones just right now before we get started. So my favorite is the video widget. Having um, this feature here being able to add a subscribe button below your video has helped me gain so much more subscribers. So whether it's for you or a client, having this feature here was one of the main reasons that I bought uh, Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. And you can also have different widgets, uh, sorry, different um, thumbnails for your videos that you can add over the top, no matter what the original is, as well as it's fast. So having the speed, I believe, and the subscribe button were my two main things because um, sometimes you know it's um, really annoying how having a YouTube video embedded on your website slows your entire website down. It makes a huge difference in terms of rankings and um, sort of visitor experience. So um, this makes it really fast. And as you can see here, there's also sticky video. This is also available here. Um, and you can change your player, which doesn't really matter too much, but that's available as well. So that's probably one of my favorites it must be my second favorite the first favorite my favorite one of them all is where is it 
comes down here marketing button marketing button is great now if you have heard of click funnels before they are like the king of um, sales funnels and landing pages and one of the features they have are two line buttons right one of the features that click funnels has is the ability to create two line buttons now while it doesn't seem like a big thing it's actually quite a bit of psychology behind it as well because if you tell people to watch the video they're like oh maybe maybe i won't but if you have an extra sort of encouraging sort of text below it it's proven to be more converting right so something so simple becomes so powerful and marketing buttons were a massive thing for me you can also add in little icons and that sort of stuff so marketing buttons were a really big sale point for me i think that almost they were the sale point but it wasn't just a buy because of the buttons um obviously there is a cost to it but that together with the videos and all the other things um it's very very powerful so uh any other ones i want to show you before i go i do like modal pop-up modal pop-up is really amazing um, essentially you can with a click of a button just pop up a um, a modal box like a light box i think there will be a um, example here like that so you can create so many different types of modal pop-ups right instead of having to figure out all this crazy css code or installing dodgy plugins you have it included in here which allows you just to pop up pretty much anything um, just using you know what's what's in built inside of ultimate add-ons so very very exciting stuff um this is also a really big game changer i believe so that's there apart from that um here's all the different examples you can check them out the links in the description um but there's loads of stuff right there's absolutely loads of stuff so what i'm going to do now is i've got this um I've got this example page it's like a demo site i've been using for a bunch of videos i've been creating um, but i have just a basic sort of module installed as well as i've got ultimate add-ons on the left um, and it's also a pro version it isn't doesn't really matter though having the pro installed as um, you don't need to have it for ultimate add-ons so a few things that uh, you can actually do with ultimate add-ons so i'll show you things like fancy text i know a lot of people love fa fancy text it's a sort of a new um, sort of thing that's going around you can just create sort of typewriter text i know a lot of people uh, um, are looking for this so this is install uh, this is included in the ultimate add-ons thing it's pretty easy all you do is just add in what text you want below it and then you can um, change the effects you can also change the colors and everything inside of here it's pretty straightforward though um, real easy to add um, I've, I've added this typewriter text before onto a website and I had to use crazy amounts of CSS. Um, so this is a, a very, very big time saver. So that's the fancy text. Um, dual header, uh, dual color headings, pretty self-explanatory. You can just do one text, one color, another text, another color. Um, it's nothing too revolutionary, but it is handy having a um, dedicated sort of element for that. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to go through the basic ones. Um, so that's fancy text, dual color heading. Uh, advanced heading, it just means you can add, add things like, you know, icons and stuff in there. Um, sub links, you can add links and all this sort of stuff, separators. So there's all this sort of cool stuff as well that you can play with. Um, once again, I'm not going to go too in depth with it. If you are looking to see what it's like, you already know what you're looking for. So content toggle, I do like this. It's um, a sort of a alternative to tabs. So if you wanted to put a bunch of text in the first lot and then a bunch of text in the second lot, you can alternate between it with just a button. So that's really cool. I think that's a great module to have, especially if you've got a few different sort of um, plans or something like that. Uh, before and after slider, if you do photography selling presets, really good one to have. Um, what else do we have that's really good? Modal pop-up, once again, so easy to install as well. I'm so impressed with it. By default, it's just going to add a button, but you can add things like photos and all that sort of stuff inside of it. But what all you need to do is like click on it and it pops up, right? So you can you can change all the different settings in here. You can change the ch the kinds, the the fade in, all that sort of stuff. It's it's incredible to see how easy it is. Um, so yeah, I'm really 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 impressed with the um, modal pop up uh, Elementor sort of uh, widget. That's what it's called, widget. What else do we have that's really good? I'll show you my marketing button. I absolutely love the marketing button. Where is it? It's down the bottom. Marketing button's great. So quickly and easily, you can create buttons like this. You can put gradients and things on it um, if you wish. But if I was to create like a sales page or you know a landing page, I could be like get access um, now, and then you can add in the stuff down there. Plus get all 
my bonuses, something like that, you know, and then you can change the size of the text, the icon, everything like that. Um, it's really, really, really powerful. Like <laughs> it was one of the big sales for me. It might seem so ridiculous, but it just makes all the big conversions happen. So that's good. A timeline feature is really cool as well. I see a lot of apps these days using the timeline feature. Um, so if you're creating like a website that has a timeline, might be for a launch, it could be for investors, anything like that. Um, you can quickly easily create this. You can also customize it how you want. And I like the feature how if you scroll down, it goes with it. Um, you can also modify that in the back end as well. So these are really cool features that you, some of them you wouldn't even think about doing, but um, knowing that they're there are really handy when you are using sort of, you know, um, you know, getting clients. Uh, I'll show you the difference between the video uh, modules. So I'll quickly just grab this video link. It's just a default one. And I'll show you um, the differences. So once that's in there, um, if I go down to the bottom, you can change the thumbnail, the play button, sticky video. So I love the sticky video as well. It's really good if you have like a blog and um, people will come to primarily for the, the blog and the video. As you can see, it's like just sticking like that. You can change the alignment and everything too, which is really cool. Like if you want it on the bottom right, um, it'll just load and then you can see it's changed. It's really, really cool feature. But the subscribe bar is my bread and butter absolutely makes a difference um, you just put your this isn't my channel I don't have quite 15k just yet but you can put your channel link in there and then if someone likes it you know having a little call to action there works straight away and if I press subscribe now it'll um, take me directly to the person's page which will say um, uh, thanks for subscribing or something like that so that's really cool um, and you can play with the colors and everything like that. So that that does make a huge difference as well um, But it's just so much more powerful than the basic and keep in mind another thing that it does is speed up your page loading time So that is pretty much ultimate uh, uh, Ultimate add-ons for elemental guys. You can see there's loads of stuff in here Obviously, I don't want to hold you up too long. Everything is inside of here though um, It has all the good stuff like reviews and price lists and multi buttons that sort of thing. They're all there ready to roll so if you are interested in um, these types of things, just know it works extremely quick and extremely efficient. The support at Ultimate Add-ons is really good as well. Um, so that's pretty much just like a game changer if you're looking for these particular things. For the price it costs, it's definitely worth it because trying to make this yourself or using all CSS is gonna take you longer um, and it's also gonna bring you a headache. And just before we go forward, I just wanna show you the pricing just so you can see what it's worth. Um, I don't believe I've gone over it yet. So at the moment um, for the year subscription, $55. So I, I think it's only $6 more than Elemental Pro itself for one site, um, but you can use this for multiple sites. And if you also wanna get the other ones, you can, uh, the, the mini agency bundle, it includes Astra Pro, which is um, the theme I basically use for all my Elemental sites. Plus it has a few extras um, like that. So that's just gonna allow you to, you know, have a few more templates as well which is good. And then if you're having an agency bundle, then you can also have Schema, uh, Schema Pro, which is really good. Um, I use it on a few different websites. It's extremely powerful for, you know, getting the, the nice little schema and the metadata on the Google um, search engines, as well as you get an academy with training and things like that, as well as Convert Pro, which is a, another pop-up plugin, I believe. But that's pretty much it. And also uh, lifetime pricing is a little bit more, but um, it all depends on your situation and what you're looking for. So that's it. And just remember guys, you don't have to have Elemental Pro for these. Um, so this could definitely replace Elemental Pro if you want it. Um, but that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna jump behind the camera just quickly. I uh, just wanna say a few extra things. Okay guys, so that is Ultimate Add-ons for Elemental Pro. Um, I hope I've been saying Ultimate Add-ons the whole time. I've been saying a few crazy things in the last takes, but that is it. It is an extremely powerful uh, plugin for Elementor. I absolutely love the video um, widget as well as the marketing button widget. And there's a few other ones I use every now and then, um, but it does help convert. And that is the entire point of getting website visitors to your, um, you know, to your website, right? So I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick sort of review, sort of tutorial type thing. I just wanted to show you the plugin. Uh, once again, that free SEO course is available to you if you decide to purchase through the links in the description of this video. So check those out. 
And that's it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you've got any value from it and make sure you subscribe for more uh, videos coming out soon. It's all about WordPress. It's all about SEO. It's all about different types of themes and plugins. Um, it's all good stuff pretty much to help you grow your website. So thanks for showing up and I'll see you on the next video.